it's uh it's pretty warm out it's the rhinos blocking the cell signal i just got something in the mail that i'm going to open up finally the temperature dropped just getting ready i have a 18 miler today hey fresh food one pop. Hey. and boy is it chilly today Good afternoon, welcome to episode 40 of the Fresh Brew Run vlog. It's a great day for a run. A little warm October afternoon. I'm out here on my strength workout. I have three two mile repeats with 800 meter rest in between. Just doing my warm up. All right, let's get after it. All right. Lap one done, two miles down, half mile recovery, and then lap number two. It's, uh, it's pretty warm out. Last time I talked too much during my recovery lap, so I'm gonna shut up and catch my breath. It's like rush hour right now, which is not my favorite, but head on a swivel. All right, number two, let's go. All right, lap number two done. It's a hot one out there, man. But it's an opportunity to continue to train in difficult conditions so that hopefully when the weather's nice at the end of October, I'm ready to go even more. So yeah, just trying to put a positive spin, but woo, toasty outside. Last lap, let's go. All done, just doing my last recovery. And then I got to cool down. Oh, I'm thirsty, man. Mm. All right, I'm going to wrap this one up. Great start to the week. That was a tough one, I won't lie. But it's only going to make me stronger. Off day tomorrow, but a 10-mile tempo run. Oh, heads up. That was close. Anyway, 10-mile tempo run on Wednesday, so I will see you then. nice good morning happy wednesday it's a great day for a run beautiful morning nice little sunrise going on i have a tempo run 10 mile tempo run i'm just on a mile and a half warm up and then i'm gonna kick it into high gear longest tempo run of the year so excited for this one nice. all right warm up done let's get after it Look at this, what a setting. Love the fall, love running in the fall. Nice. Audi activities. All right, halfway. World's most dangerous intersection coming up. Look at this mess. Look, nobody has a stop. It's hard to see all the angles. Oh, my GPS is off. I'm running way faster than my watch is showing, but like, I don't know, it's hard. My brain's all boggled. There's like this dead zone by the Detroit Zoo. And when I get far enough away from it, it adjusts and I'm absolutely flying. Like way faster than I should. No wonder I feel so tired, which is not what I want to do. I want to run my pace, but this dead zone. It's the rhinos blocking the cell signal, blocking the GPS signal. Here's the dead zone. It's like sometimes a two minute swing. I'm probably running two minutes faster than my watch shows, which is not good, but whatever. One mile to go. Man, I was cooking earlier. My GPS was so wrong. I was going so fast. All right, all set. I'm gonna have to see what my Strava adjusted pace and distances because wow i was flying that last lap the last lap the gps worked so if i was running that pace the whole time that's like 30 seconds faster than my tempo pace which isn't great i have a very long run this saturday so i don't want to be too fatigued but i guess it's good i could do it i was nervous for a while because i felt like i was running fast but 
I was running a slow pace according to my watch, but that wasn't true. So anyway, I'm gonna catch my breath a little bit and uh, do my cool down. I'm probably just gonna wrap it up. I'm like so tired. So that'll be the video for today. Thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow, Thursday, for an easy run. Hello again. So it's not Thursday. It's actually still Wednesday. I just got something in the mail that I'm going to open up live on this pre-recorded video. Very excited about this. I got this package. I bought this from Rabbit, which is a company that makes running gear. Break it open. I got some new half tights that I do plan on running in the actual marathon. I want to do a full review on my run on Saturday. So I'm going to do a very long run. The reason I got these is because they have these side pockets on both sides that I can put gels in as opposed to my current ones, which are Nike that have the pocket in the back. So I have to jam a bunch of gels in here. I have to jam gels into like the waistband. I don't really want to do that because it's kind of uncomfortable. So that's why I got these. So I'm going to test these out 20 mile run, see how they perform. Hopefully they're good and I can actually use these in the marathon. So yeah, I just want to do a quick uh, unboxing, unbagging unbagging of the the rabbit half tights let me see what the actual name they're the speedsters brief nine inch fitted half tights so um yeah we'll see how they are on saturday good morning happy thursday it's a great day for a run just out here on a easy seven mile paced run it's warm out it is unseasonably warm at the beginning of October here in Michigan. I'll try not to uh, talk into the camera when it's just a blinding light. So maybe I'll see you in a little bit when the sun's up. I am tired. That run yesterday, that tempo run, took a lot out of me. So I'm going really, really slow. Basically I have two days to recover before I have my longest long run of the year. So I'm pooped. It's a nice morning, nice little breeze, beautiful. Nice, nice cat. All right, I'm gonna wrap this run up. Great run, just nice outside. It cooled off a little bit, I think. A little breeze turned out to be a nice, nice little day. So thanks for shuffling along with me. Tomorrow I have an easy eight mile run. So I need to just continue to relax and recover heading into the weekend. But with that, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, happy Friday. We made it through another week. It's a great day for a run. Great weather today. Finally, the temperature dropped. We're back to that fall crispiness that is so fun to run in today. That's why I have the camera. Anyway, hey. Um, eight mile easy run today. Like I said yesterday, I'm just trying to take it real easy to recover as best I can for tomorrow for my last long run of this marathon training cycle. Um, yeah, I am filming my 300 mile review of the Nike Invincible 3. Got those on today. I'm just gonna grab some B-roll at Centennial Commons in downtown Royal Oak today for the video. I don't know when I'm gonna shoot the actual like talking head portion, but yeah, I'm crossing 300 miles today in these shoes. So stay tuned for my thoughts on these, uh, these here Invincible 3s. Nice stop, nice stop. Nobody's stopping today. Nice. What are we doing here? Every so often, there's just a day where nobody pays attention to stop signs or whatever. And today is one of those days. Besides, also look at the trees behind me. What a sad sight. Leafless trees. Oh, that makes my heart hurt a little bit. So I would say this weekend and next weekend are going to be the prime downtown Royal Oak leaf enjoyment periods. Ah, some of these are already bare. So, so something to keep in mind if you're looking to enjoy some changing leaves downtown Royal Oak. All right, I've made it to the park. 
gonna capture some b-roll all right i just filmed the thumbnail where i've been doing like this for like the past four minutes i'm sure there's people in city hall looking at me like what is going on up there but i'm on top of like a hill in the middle of this park i think i got enough b-roll my camera was acting kind of weird but hopefully it's not a lost cause so anyway back to the run <laughs> nice now the sun comes out as soon as i stop filming my b-roll i get the golden fall sunshine that i wanted oh well <laughs> no time to go back roll through good dog sweet all right i'm gonna wrap this one up awesome weather today great run had a lot of fun so with that i will see you tomorrow for a long run good morning happy saturday it is a great day for a run i mean perfect conditions for a run just getting ready i have a 18 miler today so this is kind of a uh, dress rehearsal for the marathon so i'm testing out my uh new half tights from rabbit i'm gonna i think film a review on this run of those just kind of on the go for a separate video so we'll see how that goes stretched warmed up ready to go 18 miles let's do this all right a little windy out it's chilly as well this is perfect marathon conditions besides the wind Whew. So I am back at the Paint Creek Trail. This is my third long run here in a row. Despite the fact that the first time I ran here was a kind of an accident and I said I wouldn't come back, I can't stay away. It's just too nice, too soft, too straight. Just a great trail. So 18 miles on this wonderful little Paint Creek Trail. Hey, fresh food one call. Hey! <laughs> the odds that my camera was rolling for that were like it's got to be like a million to one. <laughs> oh man huge news by the way haven't mentioned <laughs> i switched wrists so i have my apple watch on my right wrist and my garmin on my left wrist for the marathon because i feel like it's easier i'm looking left easier to look left than it is to look right for whatever reason. Also, with the Garmin on the left, that means I don't mess up my GPS, like my pace, if I hold the camera with my right, because I will bring the GoPro on the course, I think, pretty sure, um, respectfully, of course. Um, so yeah, massive news. <laughs> All right, I have never gone this far on the old Paint Creek Trail, so a little exploring, I'll tell you this much, it never stops going uphill. <laughs> uh, no end in sight until I think the very end, which is Orion, downtown Orion. All right, getting to the end of the trail. Almost time to turn around. It's definitely not scenic anymore. The smell of exhaust fumes, the sound of a wide road and the parking lot of a CVS. Pure Michigan. All right, let's turn this thing around. All right, quick thing, if you're on the Paint Creek Trail and you're riding your bike a thousand miles an hour, that's fine. Just give me a little on your left or get a bell or something because I just almost jumped off the trail. I got so scared by some guy flying. I think that's Lance Armstrong up there. Only a ruder version of Lance Armstrong, which is hard because Lance Armstrong is very rude. Anyway, <laughs> I'm actually feeling really good. This run is going great. So just need to get that off my chest. 13.1 half marathon. Feeling good. Well, it took three months, but that's the first horse that I've come across in my training. <laughs> Look at this weather. Oh, so nice out. All right, I've hit 16 miles, which now this is officially the furthest I've run in this training session. So I feel really strong right now. I'm at my tempo pace for the last couple miles. So let's go. 
Whew, 18 done. Oh man, that was way too fast for what I was supposed to run. To be fair, in my own defense, my watch was, uh, I don't think, very accurate towards the end. I was supposedly going my tempo pace, but I think I was going like way faster, but whew, that felt good. I dare say that hard of a run was easy for me, which is awesome. I'm not trying to sound like arrogant or anything, but I just felt really, really good today. So, whew, great run. All right. Oh, yes. All right, so I'm gonna wrap this one up. I mean, it is wrapped up, so I'm gonna go home, take a shower, probably take a nap, honestly. I'm kind of tired, so. Michigan is 7.30 tonight against Minnesota. Looking forward to that. Um, but otherwise, I will see you tomorrow for a recovery run. It's a stop sign. Okay. Cool it. Good morning, happy Sunday. It's a great day for a run. And boy, is it chilly today. It's about 43 degrees. I even got gloves on. I'll probably take them off soon as I'm warming up, but whew, it would be a perfect day for a marathon once again. A little windy, but I don't know what the weather's like in Chicago right now for the Chicago marathon going on. Nobody rides bikes in downtown Royal Oak though. It's too cold. When the weather gets too cold, no one rides though, I was told. Eh. Six mile easy run. I'm filming with the wind at my back now because it was too loud too windy uh, just a recovery run I feel pretty good all things considered just gonna take it easy today hopefully have a boring run nice nice buddy what do we got here All right, gonna wrap this one up. Bad day for drivers and cars. I don't know what's going on, but anyway, uh, good week. Actually, the most miles I've ever run in one week, so very good week. Actually, a really good week, now that I think about it. So yeah, thanks for tagging along with me. Episode 40, shout out to whoever I saw on the Paint Creek Trail. Um, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.